CT coronary angiography is a relatively newer way of looking at the arteries around your heart, so the blood vessels around your heart, uh, to see if there are any narrowings or blockages, uh, which can lead to problems such as angina uh, or increase the risk of you having a heart attack. So CT coronary angiography is essentially a CT scan, if ever, anyone's had one, uh, involves uh, putting you through, in essence, a large donut. Uh, they put a drip in the back of your hand to give you some contrast or some dye. Uh, they inject this dye into your vein. Uh, that then travels around to your heart as well. And the CT scan takes pictures of the blood vessels around your heart to, again, pick up any evidence of any narrowings or any blockages or any calcium which may cause problems. This test is extremely accurate. Uh, it's been tested and compared to uh, invasive coronary angiograms, in other words, the angiograms where we put tubes into blood vessels and take those up to the heart, uh, and it's been shown to be uh, essentially as accurate as those, as long as the heart rate is appropriately controlled. So the results will tell us, uh, like I said, if there are any narrowings in the arteries around your heart, any blockages which may be causing you problems, or uh, any issues which may increase the risk of you having a heart attack. So it depends very much on what we find. If they are all clear, it, then it's very reassuring that any problems or symptoms you may be getting, we can say are not due to any narrowings in the arteries around your heart. If there are narrowings, uh, this could uh, result in symptoms of angina. So some people with chest pain or get very short of breath. Uh, if that's the case, then we would need to do some more tests. Now, these may include doing an invasive coronary angiogram. In other words, where, as I mentioned, they put the tubes into a blood vessel in the artery and take it up to your heart. And this gives you a much more accurate assessment uh, of these uh, narrowings um, and then tells us, do they need any treatment? I, do you need stents to be put in? Or worst case scenario, you've got so many narrowings, you need a bypass operation. Other tests that we can do are to get a better idea if the narrowings picked up on the CT are significant or not. Uh, and we, there are various types of stress tests that we can do to stress the heart to tell us that do these narrowings uh, potentially cause any problems to the heart or limit the blood flow to the heart.